guys! Happy Friday! I'm making a video, what a shocker! The CW, where dreams go to die. I have fallen in love with some CW TV shows over the years, and that was my first mistake. The CW caters to teens, which is great, because I'm a teen, but they also tend to kill shows rather quickly. I have four shows that I loved that were on the CW that they killed and I still cry about it sometimes at night. The first, and most important to me, is Veronica Mars. I, I didn't mean to wear this t-shirt today, it was an accident. Veronica Mars is probably my favorite TV show, and if you haven't seen it, it's about a teenage girl who helps out her private detective father. Because she has this background, she gets thrown into cases for her friends at school, and into a lot of trouble along the way. She's super witty, and the show's super fast-paced, and it's just like my favorite thing ever. This show started on UPN for its first two seasons, and when UPN was bought by the WB, the third season aired on CW. CW consequently cancelled it after the third season. The season two finale wrapped everything up and took care of all of the loose ends, and I think they thought they were getting cancelled. And then they came back for a third season and Veronica went to college, and the third season cliffhanger, I'm not gonna spoil it, but there is one, and you're gonna watch it, and it's gonna be the end, and then you're gonna cry because you don't know what happened. They left so much out in the open for a fourth season, and they didn't get it. Creator Rob Thomas even tried to pitch a new idea to try and keep the series ongoing. He pitched an idea about Veronica several years later in the FBI. They wouldn't buy it. I guess I can't really yell at them too much because I watched it after the fact because at the time of it airing I was 10. That's weird. Next we have Life Unexpected which started in 2010. It starred Sherry Appleby and Britt Robertson and some guy whose name I don't know. The story follows Lux who is a 16 year old foster kid trying to emancipate herself. But to emancipate herself she has to get both her birth parents to sign this document, and that's where the story starts. Her birth parents end up meeting again, and she lives with one of them, and they fall in love, and again, very witty, very fast-paced, and it was cancelled after two seasons. From what I can find, it was cancelled because of low ratings. Um, they had planned to take it on further, but they knew far enough ahead when they ended the second season that they probably weren't going to get renewed for a third, and so they wrapped everything up nice and neat. The next show that the CW cancelled was Hellcats. It aired in 2010 to 2011 and got just one season. It starred Ali Mashalka and Ashley Tisdale. And as someone who loved her Disney Channel as a child, it made me super happy. The show centers around Ali Mashalka's character, Marty, who is on scholarship and loses her scholarship, so to get a new one, she joins the cheer team. She's very unenthusiastic and sarcastic. There seems to be a trend here. And she makes unlikely friends with Ashley Tisdale's character, who is the peppy Christian cheer captain. The story follows the Hellcats' pursuit to get to nationals and to keep their program on at a primarily football school. Part of the reason I like this show is because these characters are very true to life 21 year olds. They're doing what they would be doing if they were on a cheer team in their college. They have to balance schoolwork with parties and boyfriends and their extracurriculars, which also keep their scholarship. And I think it's just a very real representation with also being fun and a, a little, little bit edgy, cause you know, Maddie, I'm all about the edge. Finally, we have Cult, which I am probably the most mad about because it just happened last winter. It only got seven episodes. It follows Matthew Davis's character, Jeff. His brother tells him that he's being stalked by this TV show, and Jeff doesn't take any stock in it, and the next day his brother goes missing. Jeff teams up with Jessica Lucas's character, Skye, who works for Cult, and they go undercover and try to figure out what's happening and ultimately discover a greater conspiracy. The show is great because not only does it delve into popular culture and television and the eerie things that can happen when there are dedicated fans of a show, but also it has a great balance between the story 
and then using the show within the show to further the plot. Because Alonia Tall and Robert Kepner, who are two of the four main characters, most of the time only appear in the show within the show. This is something you seldom see. The way they did it is they canceled it after seven episodes, but they had filmed 14. So what they did with the seven final episodes is they aired them a few months later to a night every Friday. It's just bad management on the part of the CW because they had those extra episodes and they could have tried to build more of a following but they gave up instead. If you guys haven't seen any of these shows and have time in your hectic, busy lives, I super duper encourage you to go watch them because I think they are great. They'll always have a special place in my heart. And on that note, Maddie's out. Go hate the CW with me. Also, if you like another CW show that's been canceled, comment below. Or if you think there's a different network that kills dreams, comment below as well. I'm interested to hear who you think is the most horrible network in the world because there's a lot of them. If you'd like more videos like this, comment below. Have a great Friday. I'll see you next week or the week after or some other time because I can't be counted on to make videos. I hope you have a great day and I'm rambling so farewell. Ah, look, purple hair. Purple hair. Can you tell? It's purple. I think it looks cool. Bye.